Here's a question for you. Should the government be allowed to require a vaccine passport? Lawmakers in Tennessee don't think so. They didn't put forth legislation that would prevent it in the volunteer state. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher breaks down the bill and what it means for Tennesseans. Well, you've probably heard of the term by now, vaccine passports, but there is a bill in Tennessee that's making its way through the General Assembly that's against them. Plus, New South governors are taking a stand. A House bill that would prevent any government in Tennessee from requiring a COVID-19 vaccine passport is being supported by Governor Bill Lee. In a tweet Tuesday, Lee said, quote, I oppose vaccine passports, going on to say, I am supporting legislation to prohibit any government-mandated vaccine passports. We have at least one county in our state that is re uh, requiring this or, or something very similar to. But what exactly is a vaccine passport? It's typically an app with a code that verifies whether someone has been vaccinated or has recently tested negative for COVID-19. Supporters say the passport is to allow the inoculated to more freely travel, dine, and shop, but Republicans see them as a violation of personal freedoms and private health choices. This bill says that no state entity and by the way, counties and cities are subunits of state government can mandate a vaccine passport. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson says he's opposed to vaccine passports and Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves said he didn't think vaccine passports were a good thing to do in America. This week, the White House said the U.S. government won't be issuing vaccine passports. There will be no federal vaccinations database and no federal mandate requiring everyone to obtain a single vaccination Credential. The White House also says private businesses can make their own decisions regarding requirements for proof of vaccination. The Tennessee bill would not stop a business from requiring a vaccine passport. In Memphis, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.